pre-planned video here while I'm in Texas, and I wanted to go over how can we fix the offense and defense for the Detroit Lions. We talk about what they're not good at, but we don't really bring in options to make it better, to improve it. And so in this video, I just want to talk about ways that Ben Johnson, this offense, can get going, and Aaron Glenn can help the defense out for the remainder of the season as well as the playoffs. Let's go. Again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We talk about it all the time. We want to continue to grow the channel, get to 10,000 subscribers here on Lions Nation Unite. Hit that like button. It does help out. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest Lions news and rumors. This video here, again, is how can we fix the offense and defense? What can be done to get back on track on both sides of the football here? So, look, we, we've talked about what's been wrong, but... What can we do to fix it? What are things that can be done to alleviate some of the in, the issues that we're having on both sides of the football here? Let's start on offense, and then we'll, we'll jump to defense. Offensively, to me, it starts with the offensive line. It is all about the offensive line. This offense works through the offensive line. If the, if the line protects and opens up the holes, the Lions offense can beat anybody. On all cylinders, they they can put it up on any defense in the NFL. But if we fail at that aspect, it can crumble. And I think that is the foundational part of this football team. For Ben Johnson to execute the plays that he wants to execute, we need to give Jared Goff more than three, four seconds. Or he's going to quick feet, fumble it, bad pass, whatever. The offense just does not work. What can be done here? First off, injuries is the biggest part of this. For this offensive line to get back healthy, that's how this offensive line plays well. It really does. So Frank Ragnow, when when he comes back, I think it's going to alleviate a ton of the pain. When you don't have him, it just messes everything up. you got to remove Graham Glasgow from right guard, put him at center. It opens up the, the right guard position where you have Sorsdale or Wusika. Dan Skipper hasn't been doing it, but you can put him there. And it just really hurts the offensive line. I think Penesiel doesn't trust Soresdale enough at this point to, to execute. Taylor Decker's having some issues. The injuries will definitely help. So when, when Frank Ragnow comes back, but what can we do if they're not? I think you could do an extra, extra lineman to the left. Chip with the tight end. Plays towards the strength, and if Jonah Jackson's in there, I think running to the left really helps out the run game because he's really good at run blocking. So, look, if you have Graham Glasgow at right guard, I think you can go to the right, but if you're talking about a Wusika or a Soresdale, I think it's a little more difficult to run when you have those guys in line. So, run to the left, run the strength. Also, you could do trick plays. We've seen it last week where they added Penesul to the left side, put Skipper to the right side, and the whole defense of Chicago thought we are going to go left, and we went right. So that's like a trick run play. You could do situations like that to get the football to run. Quick passes, screen pass if you don't have much time in the pocket. Get the football out of Jared Goff's hand quickly. Scheme quick passes. That will make the defense you know, falter a little bit. You're taking away their weapons to get after the passer. If he just gets rid of the ball quick, doesn't really matter, you know, if the offensive line's not playing that great because it's out of his hand at that point. So draw up if if the if if the line's holding, you could use their whole playbook, right? If the line's holding, they can hit the, the deep routes to Amon Ross, St. Brown, anything. But if they're not doing it well, help out this offensive line by doing quick passes and running the football. And I know that sounds, you know, it's dumb it down, but that does alleviate some of the pain. That's some of the things that you can do. Extra tight end, an extra blocker, those are other options as well. Threat of the run game will force play action, and that will give Jared Goff opportunity for longer drives. If the defense is committing to the run game, that will make it much better for us to open up the pass. So those two go together. So play action run the football, quick passes if the offensive line's not doing good, and you can open up if the offensive line is great. So that's something that's more of a feel of the game. 
and obviously if they're the health issues there. But that's some of the things you can do offensively to make this offense better. Jared Goff right now is a little bit skittish. He's getting hit a lot. 15 sacks in four games. Let's reduce skittishness by those type of things that you can accomplish to get this offense moving 100%. And I think on fourth down, you have to take what the defense is going to give you. If the defensive line is dominating Denver, or in this case, you know, we've seen it throughout the week, then maybe you shouldn't do on a fourth down. But if the Lions offensive line's dominating, yeah, go ahead and run it on fourth and one on their, uh, on the 35, right? That's fine. But if you're seeing throughout the game that we're not winning, maybe you should punt the football. And that will help out the offense as well, but not turning the football over right there. Um, so I think that will absolutely help out the Lions' offense. Obviously, the turnovers and, and shooting yourselves in the foot, be fundamental. I think it's going to be easier when, obviously, you're at Ford Field. It's going to be less of the mistakes instead of being at a another uh, another n- another team's uh, dome or their stadium, wherever you're at. Right now, it's all domes, the left. But fundamental and do those type of things. That will help the offense out. It'll help Ben Johnson out. That's We'll get this offense back on track from being – Cheeks to better. So kind of dumb it down a little bit, and I think that will work. Don't overthink it. The offense has the ability to really improve. We've seen it. Ben Johnson's done it. We just got to be effective in that area. Going to the defense is a little bit more difficult here because the problem with the defense is is multiple. It's not just one thing. You can look at the offense. Here's the things that you can do, and it will fix the offense, right? Defense is a little bit difficult because they don't have the personnel due to lack of players not doing what they were drafted to do or came here to do, i.e. Joshua Pascal, John Kaminsky, Romeo, Julian Akwar, you know the names, Levi and Uzurike, all these guys, they're not getting the job done right now. So that is a problem that we've seen throughout this year, and I don't know if it can get fixed. Now, look, you can bring in Bruce Irvin, and it's going to help. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that that can help. And obviously injuries is something that you can't fix. They're just injured. And I think the defense will get better when James Houston, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, and Lee McNeil get back, and that's something that can be weeks down the road. But I think for this defense, you got to work with what you have. And for this defense to get better, you have to help out Jerry Jacobs, period. You may have to take shots, right? It could, it could be a bend-not-break defense, but having him one-on-one against opposing number ones has failed. So let's stop doing that. I think that'll help out the secondary. Move Jerry Jacobs not to a number one, but more of a number two. Put Cam Sutton out there as what he's supposed to be. And if that's not the case, give him safety help. I understand it will it will hurt stopping the run a little bit. But right now, what is what is happening defensively is not working. So give Jerry Jacobs some help. Help him out. That will help the defense out in a big way. We're having problems with blitzes and maybe got to disguise more because we're blitzing actually quite a bit, especially the last week, and we're not hitting home. So maybe a little bit disguise is there. Play, play, play on the receiver. Let's not give them 10 yards off. That will help out as well. There's, they may make some big plays. Our defense is not good, but we got to be able to at least put the players in positions to succeed, and it will reduce some of this problems that we've been having. It will definitely reduce it. It's not going to completely solve it. Another option here is bring on Stephen Gilmore. See what he can do. Again, if he comes out and gets cooked, what's the difference? Because we know Jerry Jacobs getting cooked. We know Will Harris will get cooked. See what he can do. There, it, I, I see no problem with giving him a try out there. See if that can help. If it doesn't help, it doesn't help. But we don't know until he's out there. You don't know what players will do until they're in game time. Stephen Gilmore is really good in preseason. He showed speed, staying with the receiver, understanding it was backups. Well, let's see what he could do. What's what's the problem there? I don't I don't see much of a problem. Hitting home on these third and long. So third down has been a really problem for the Lions defense. It's been third and flag. 
or third and long, and they convert the first down. We have to absolutely stop the third down issues. And a lot of it is boneheaded flags. Ingranted into their mind that a pass interference or a holding, defensive holding, is shall not be accepted. If you get beat, you get beat. But we are getting killed on third and long, and those flags come up, it seems like, nearly every single time, quite a bit. We got to stop that. On third and long, if you're pursuing the quarterback, contain, contain. We have seen it multiple times where it's third and long, and in this like past week, Justin Fields, he gets the first down with his legs. We got to contain. Now, Russell Wilson is not Justin Fields. That is 100% facts. He's not as good as, as him right now, you know, running mobile quarterback. But, I, but you still got to contain him. He can still extend the play, and he can run. Contain Russell Wilson. Contain the other quarterbacks that we're going to be facing. Maybe Joshua Dobbs is playing. I know they went to, they benched him. But you don't know. Maybe they'll bring him up because they see, well, Lions are terrible with a mobile quarterback, so maybe they do that for the Vikings. And Dak Prescott, it's he's he, that offense is juggernauts. Uh, so I think that that game probably, <laughs> if you want to win it, you got to do it like the Chargers game, where it's look, man, if the defense gives up three points, that's a victory. So it it needs to be a bend but not break defense. But there's Options for the Lions there. So, Aaron Glenn, I'm really looking at you. Really, please understand that what is happening right now is not working. And we need to get better on third down. And I think there's some of those things that can be done. That can be done. So, look, if the the Lions offense, I feel like, absolutely can improve and get back to the kind of elite status. The defense, I don't think you'll get there. But this off, th- this team just needs the defense just to be a little bit better. A couple more stops. You do that, the Lions can win. They absolutely can win and, and get back to fundamental football on both sides. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Give me options what you think the Lions should do offensively and defensively to be better. Let me know. Uh, let, let's turn this into co- a conversation. With that said, folks, adios.